Greetings and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be going through with the next part of the tutorial. As you can see, I have already set up my secondary and tertiary clones. They're called Omegas. I don't know why. I'll find out as I go along. But right now, I'm going to be heading through the advanced tutorial. I already have tried it the tutorial, so I know that it's going to take some time to complete. So here goes advanced tutorial one. Okay, so basics, let me just give you the rundown. When you start a new clone, you go through the exact same process. You're gonna go through your tutorials again, and then after your tutorials, you get into your careers. From what I've read up and um, viewed in other channels, the tutorials lead you to choose your career path. I'm using three accounts so that I can use all three available career paths, and this is how you're gonna access it. Advanced Tutorial, Tutorial 1. As you can see, it tells me to upgrade my tech level. So the first thing I'm going to do is go back to my Commander, Skill, and Current Tech Level, Upgrade. Okay, you can see that these are now the unlocked content at this level. You can see I'm already progressing to the next tech level. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, now let's go back in. This is where it's going to get a little bit more difficult. The next stage of pop-ups on the bottom are not going to give you your full quest lines. Getting bounties, you're going to head towards the cosmic anomalies and then you are going to fight the um, red flagged ships in the area trying to go at it straight up with uh, following the tutorial you're just going to get this it's not telling you exactly how to complete the task so you're not going to get it so i'm actually going to run right through it right now so you undock Okay, you can see there's three anomalies available. And we're gonna head to the club. Now, walk there. Warp drive active. Warp drive active. Alright, there it is. Already got one. Start with firing. Okay, as you can see, there's two others in the. Oh, there's nobody else in the area fighting with me. It's just the anomaly. One down. Okay, next step. Oh yeah, the shield is what's running down the percentage there to 53%. As you take damage, it reduces. The other thing you need to do is remember that loot drops all over the place while you're killing shops. And hitting the target button obviously highlights the closest enemies. Okay, this little thing over here is called a combat timer. I think it's seeing how long you last in a battle.
Okay, as you can see on the top, there are no enemies available in this region, so I'm heading towards the next available one. Warp drive active. Okay, as you can see, standard easy stuff to do. Looks like there's nothing. Another thing that you're going to see is that mining is also available. You go click on it, you're gonna get that. But you go to a celestial body, click mine, and this is how you gather up some resources. Okay, I'm gonna do one one of each material and it's gonna confirm. You can see the space holder it says how many cubic meters I've mined. Continuous mining for two hours and 30 minutes. Okay, so nothing has appeared here. Let's head back to the other anomaly. So basically, overall, you're going to have to destroy about 40 or 50 enemy ships before it actually changes to anything spectacular. Okay, so now I'm heading in closer towards the anomaly. And now I'm going to set up an orbit around it. You can actually engage other people in combat, but I really suggest you don't. Not just yet, especially if you're just doing the tutorials. Okay, now I'm gonna head back into the station. And then How I'll show are you, you feeling? I have gotten into some fact with the enemy, so I should have some progress. Right, so you can see right now it shows no progress. Once I get in, the progress starts, should start to reflect, and that's as things start to move up. Doctors yet. Okay, there's it in the dock. Okay, now let's reopen this. Let's see what it's How are you on feeling? the side of the quest. Normally, as you're fighting at the anomalies. You gain a certain amount of XP based on the enemies you defeat. Right now I got nothing from it. Okay, 
So the next step here is going to be joining a corporation. Now we will again. Sorry about that. Let's go join a corporation. Now it's going to ask you for what you're planning to do with the account. My primary is going to be a PVP, PVE, and a high sec. Okay, I applied to join a random group. You don't really get anything grand. How are you feeling? Now let's look in here again. You should find that it is now going to show progress. Why isn't it showing progress? Okay, the planetary production, you already saw me start that. Okay, let's go out again and let's hit an anomaly. The anomaly is refreshed in about 5 minutes, so if you hit one and you find that they stop spawning enemies, go back to the dock, dock out all the loot you've got and come back in for a fight. He's not trying it right. But everything is it's available. You can see I started holding up space from my mining. Here we go. Brand new one just opened, that means there's gonna be enemies there right away. Warp drive active. 
Remote drive active. And here we go. There's the points that you need to continue on with. And as you defeat them, more start to approach within your sector. So that's just a quick one. Oh, and they do get stronger as it progresses through. Okay, there we go. Another one, double fire. Okay, well, I mean, oh, someone else is here. Okay, you're gonna fire it twice. You can see there's four of us here in this area fighting. That's how come it's taking so long. Okay, let's go. And here we go, firing away. And one more. Okay, let's see what loot is available. Okay, so that's how you're actually fighting at some point. So when you got 2,000 or 100,000. So, let's continue on. Okay, so the recording should cut now, and I will be...